Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I thought I'd answer a question I got on YouTube from Sam of the Bull 102 and he basically asked was there a way to move his iTunes library over from his Mac to an external drive and yeah there is, it's really easy to do but I thought this was a great question which would be useful to a lot of people so thanks for the question Sam and I'm going to answer it in this video. So why would you want to actually move your iTunes library over to an external drive? And the reason is your Mac hard drive might be getting full. And you've got the option to obviously upgrade your Mac and put a bigger hard drive in there. But that's not always the best solution. It can be costly, uh, time consuming, etc. So just use an external drive, plug it in via USB, is, is kind of the easiest option to do this. So I will show you this video because it's really easy and it doesn't take very long. So let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is plug in your external hard drive. Then once you've done that, you want to make sure you've got enough space on your external hard drive. So let's go to Finder, and we can have a look at our devices, what we've actually plugged in. And if I right click on it, or control click, I can go to Get Info, and I can look basically how large this hard drive is. So the capacity is about 160 gig on this one. And I can look how much available space there is. And as we can see, I've got nothing else on this hard drive. It's about 160 gig. Now, from there I want to go to my music folder and navigate to the iTunes folder which is here and now I want to just double check how big this actual iTunes folder is, how much media I've actually got in it. So if I right click or control click on the folder I can go to get info again and I can look how big this actual folder is and as we can see here it's 120 gig so if I move this over to my external drive I'll have 40 gigs of free space which would be handy. So yeah this is definitely the option I'm going for, I'm going to transfer it over to the 160 gig hard drive. Now to do this, you want to just grab the actual folder, drop it onto your external hard drive you've chosen. There you go, as you can see it's transferring over. Now this will take quite a while depending on how much media you've got. Welcome back guys, now my iTunes library is now copied over to my external drive. So the next step is, now you need to go to iTunes and actually make sure it's quit. So quit iTunes if it's not already quit. Now you want to reopen up iTunes but this time I want you to hold down ALT then click on iTunes to open it. Now you'll notice here you'll have a, a new box you've probably have never seen before and now we've got the option to create a library or choose a library. And what you need to do is go to choose library and what we're doing here is we're actually telling iTunes where our iTunes library is. So obviously our new iTunes library is on the external drive. So navigate to your external drive, click on it, click on the iTunes folder on that external drive and open it up. There you go, iTunes is now accessing the iTunes library on our external drive. Now make sure now just go through all your music and all your apps and just make sure that the, they all look correct, that it all seems like it's copied over, which it should have. Also you can go to iTunes, preferences, if you go to the advanced tab you can just check here and make sure iTunes is pointing at your external hard drive which mine is so that's great so now that's all working fine you now can go to finder go to your music folder and you can delete your original iTunes folder which will free up a lot of space now make sure everything's working fine before you actually delete this because I hate, I hate for anyone to delete their iTunes folder lose all the content then realize they've done it all wrong so just double check it's all working fine then you can delete that folder so yeah thanks for everyone for watching the video hopefully you find it useful if you want you can follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast also please subscribe and like this video if you find it useful and i'll see you in the next video goodbye